that train because this part we have to change the, the train in the Kaisu We are going to send up one passing here in the train bus, one of the most exciting places in Lisbon. So we started already our second part of the journey from the outskirts of Lisbon, more precisely Azambuja station, to Elvas. Uh, this region here where we start, it's uh, located in the Tejo river banks. It's a lowland region of fields and livestock creation. It's called Ribatejo. Yeah, it's uh, everything is flat here, full of channels, irrigation channels that connect to the Tejo River. Tejo River that finishes in uh, Lisbon. So we reach already the Tejo River. We'll be following the river banks towards north for about 50 kilometers and then south again. Over there there is a, a village and then we go towards uh, east, towards Kuruz. And here as you can see there is these uh, fishermen villages along the river bank. This is the first one. I think there is three or four. And it's really curious history about these people. They are fishermen that came from my region in the north in the winter. In the winter normally the sea was a bit more dangerous and uh, they didn't have much uh, food so they came here to the south uh, looking for more fertile uh, river with more fish here and they settled here some of them permanently some others uh, temporary but uh, yeah pretty much this we will continue our journey Another fisherman village called Palloto.
Yeah, right now we are in Valada village. We are cycle, cycling through a wall, protection wall for the waters. When there is uh, water flooding from the river, this is like a protection. The river is just over there. And here is the village. As I said before, this is a lowland region. So when the river comes up, problems arise. And this is to avoid problems. So, a few minutes ago we just crossed the Tejo river using an old railway bridge uh, converted to uh, car traffic and then it's curious how the landscape changes as soon as we change the river bank we are now going towards south and look at this the pine trees characteristic from the south of Portugal we started to see some like two days ago but this is a, a real forest here this is how the south looks like, really nice. We are heading to Salvaterra de Magos. I think it's around 10, 15 kilometers. But now the wind is uh, pushing us uh, whenever possible because we are covered by the trees, which I don't complain. this goes up the lever on the position on the block position and like this I will do it almost there or at least two so you can see and there is the entrance here so the water can flow onto the fields and then to block it again easy you unblock the lever you put the dispatches down and then you block again easy nice system it's well lubricated it means that it's on use um, is well maintained which is a good sign I really like to see this kind of structures uh, well maintained and working this is part of the all the system all the process that allow us to eat because it's irrigate the field so we can grow vegetation stuff so we can eat later here yeah, so it's very important for the, the our life, the human life. You might notice that I really enjoy this kind of uh, engineering structures. I'm a, a huge enthusiastic about this. So a curious person. How big is this construction the effort they had to put to to build all of this and the money of course time resources amazing Final meters for today, we are arriving to Cruz. We joined to the Soraya, Soraya River on the right bank. A really 
really nice and calm uh, village from Alentejo. So now we are gonna looking for our hostel for today, for tonight, better say, to rest a bit. Tomorrow it's a big state, almost 100 kilometers. But uh, we will have the chance to start earlier, as they serve the breakfast at half past seven, so we'll start at eight, half past eight. So today we started at 11, quarter past 11, so it makes all the difference. I say goodbye to you for this day with this amazing view over the Soraya River.